It's been 20 years since September 11 attacks here in New York at the World Trade Center, and we still have wounds, we still have questions, unclassified documents, and a war in Afghanistan where the U.S. just pulled out. Let's talk with some of the survivors and see how they remember that day. 20 years after the event, you realize one thing, and one thing that comes to your mind all the time. As a survivor, I learned on 9-11 what really matters in life. You know, that day in the airport, I thought I was going to die because, like, as we were evacuating the flight attendants onto buses, the, 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 um, the terrorist police came in, the terrorist task force agents came in and said, evacuate the airport, and they pulled up buses, and they said, but not you, and they left us in the airport, and there was, like, five of us taking calls from the hijacked planes, you know, from Flight 93, so we couldn't leave. And one of the flight attendants said, Terry, they're going to hide, they're going to, they're going to bomb Newark airport. And I, I, I thought, oh my God, you know, it was so frightening and it was just so traumatic. I had a nervous breakdown. I found myself trembling in my shower and I uncontrollably started crying and my mother found me naked in my living room. And, um, I, they put me in a hospital and I couldn't speak. I just couldn't speak. I, the, the, the shock wore off and the trauma set in and I was so, so sick. The trauma really affected me. The PTSD was so severe and it really crippled my life. But I have, I, I'm overcoming this. It gets easier year after year after year, you know, and I'm working through it. The people affected directly by the event, they don't forget and uh, I live it every single day. I have it ingrained in my system. There's not a single day that I don't think about 9-11. Every single day. 20 years after, I have no closure. My wounds are still open, even though the building uh, was restored with a Liberty Tower uh, because uh, they reconstructed the area, they created a memorial in the area. That doesn't mean that I reconstructed my experience of what happened on that day. It still hurts, the pain is still there, uh, we're still going on, and 20 years after, we have no closure. And what this uh, whole pullout created, extremist people are going to take this as a motivation and enthusiasm to do new attacks because they saw that they can win. The, we are all part of 9-11 for the simple reason that it affected everyone uh, one way or the other. 92 countries were represented in the victims that died on that event. Uh, as a responsibility for me, being the last man out, given that title because I was the last person that came out of the North Tower when it collapsed, it became kind of a burden because I have to then be the image of the tragedy for the international media. I see it as a responsibility. And to have closure, I just have to have uh, answers to many of the questions of what happened on that day.